Hello, and welcome to the technical specification video for the Business Document Extraction from EmailBot. The Business Document Extraction from EmailBot scans your Outlook emails according to your predefined rules, downloads the attachments in those emails, and categorizes them based on the document type and company code. This sets the stage for further process automation. Let's now see what this bot looks like. Before starting the bot, you need to configure the bot and define the rules for the Outlook email filter. The configuration file can be found as a file attachment that comes with the bot project in the SAP Process Automation Store. The configuration file needs to be placed in a local folder referred to as the root folder. In the configuration file, you can define rules to filter emails in Outlook. In the fields marked in gray, you need to define the business object, such as proof of delivery or invoice, and the company code. The company code is needed to process the business documents for a specific entity. You can use an arbitrary value to identify the company or the branch ID. The bot will create a folder inside the root folder for each business object in the configuration file and a subfolder for each company code for storing the business documents. In the fields marked in green, you can define the email filter rules. In this example, you want the bot to look for proof of delivery document files in unread emails. The bot will compare the subject of each email with the proof of delivery filter you have specified in the configuration file. In the inbox, you can see that there is an email with the subject proof of delivery that contains an attachment file. After identifying the email, the bot will move processed emails to a specified subfolder you have created in the inbox folder. In this case, the folder is named processed. After you acquire the bot from the store and deploy it, you need to create a trigger for it by choosing the Add Trigger button. Here you can identify the trigger's name and select the priority. Next, you can schedule the time when the bot is to run and how often the job will reoccur. In this example, the bot is scheduled to run every five minutes on Thursday from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. On the Input Parameter tab, you need to provide the input parameters required by the bot. Here, enter the name of the Outlook folder where processed emails will be stored, the path of the root folder, and the name of the configuration Excel file. On the Distribution tab, you also need to match your trigger with your agent. In the Set Attributes and Values area, select the attribute and value you defined earlier while adding the agent. For more information about this step, you can refer to the Desktop Agent Setup video. Choose Update. You can now wait for the bot to be triggered according to the schedule you specified, or you can trigger it to run right away by moving to Actions and clicking the Run Now option. You can see that the execution of the automation was successfully requested. If you click the icon for the bot in your taskbar, you can see that the desktop agent is starting to download the bot package. In Monitor, Automation Jobs, you can monitor the progress of the bot. On the top row, you can see that the automation is running. After refreshing the page, you can see that the automation job was successful. In Outlook, you can see that the email matching our filter criteria has been moved to the processed folder. If you now check the root folder, you can see that two folders have been created, one for logs and the other for proof of delivery. Inside the company code folder in the proof of delivery folder, in the to be processed folder, you can see the attachment downloaded from the email. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.